life. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, my days. Whoosh. We are live. We are live. Let me see who's going to be the first of my life while I try to pin my topic. Okay. Let's see in my... Hey, Mo. And hi, Adeshei. Welcome. You guys are like the first. You guys came at the same time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Super excited to have you here. Hi, Queen. Welcome. I'm just trying to quickly pin the topic. Amazing. Hi. Hi. Good to see you guys. Welcome. Hi. Okay, great. That means you can hear me. So I'm not just speaking. I'm so sorry. Today is such a blessed day. We're supposed to start at 6. Um, I guess moved it to 6, 6.15. Then, hello, Taiwo. Welcome. Great to have you here. We're supposed to start at 6.15. Hi, Maya. Welcome. Great to have you here. So, my sister, apologies. <laughs> Hi, Jawad. Welcome. Great, great, great to have you here. So good to see you all. Thank you so much for joining. And I genuinely apologize for the delay. Our guest had to push back a little bit. Right there, she will join us here at 6.30. So, I mean, the a bit of... Like I'm probably good. Sorry that I'm a bit late. I tried to communicate 6:15, and then after I communicated 6:15, she now said at 6:30. I said, oh, "Wow, great, amazing!" But we're here, and it's going to be an amazing time, right? Hi, Queen Sophie Beauty PLC. Welcome, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining, for tuning in. How are we all doing? How's your day been? How's your Sunday? How was church? You know, church was good for me because Pastor preached some really good stuff and on consistency, on um, not giving up, right? Just keep going because if you continue, you will get it. The big dream. It was so good. It was so good, right? How was church for you? And if you didn't go, how was your day? And I'm super excited. First, the last Sunday in the month of November, like one more month, and we're done with 2022. Come on now, how good is God, right? I mean, the next time we'll be seen is be December. Hi, husband, welcome. And then after that, 2023 New Year. So let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm just really excited for a lot of reasons. One, I mean, we're entering to the last week of November. By Thursday, it's December 1st, right? And then the year is over. The year is over. So many things we know happened this year. <clears throat> Even me personally, my family, you guys, you know, some things that have made you feel like, ah, where is God? What's happening? Why are things happening like this? But, you know, when we look at the other things, hi, Jolapo, so good to see you. Other things that God is doing, you'll be like, God really is a good God. God really is a good God. So I officially say Merry Christmas to y'all because I know that I will see you till Christmas period E for our last show of the year. So before then, let me just quickly launch you into December, right? So Merry Christmas in advance, right? And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm excited for a lot of reasons. I'm excited about today's today's session. We're going to be having Ify's Kitchen here with us in a little while. She's going to be talking to us about her own story, right? I know that some of us might know her. She's this very popular um, chef guru. What should I call her? She teaches us how, how to cook online i mean i follow her Ibi Doja. so good to see you right so i mean she just out to book me i've learned one or two tips from her you know and she's really good like that and you know i saw her story on her page of course we are all here going to hear we're going to hear the full details right and then you know how she waited the whole journey and that's what we're going to be talking about because the honest reality is that a lot of people are currently going through this right or have even gone through it where i mean some people got married and for years five years three years ten years fifteen years we heard those stories after waiting for 17 years 15 years finally god gave them their own own children you know so this is a real issue that affects people that affects families sometimes even breaks homes hi lola welcome even breaks homes and then people i mean it, it's a fake i mean I, I don't even know how to explain it but I, I can only imagine what people go through when they have to wait you know for that long and i mean i, I really look forward to hear 
everything that if he's going to be talking to us about today and if you if you know someone that should be on this stream if you know someone that should um be a part of what we're going to be sharing today please send this um page to them you know just forward it to them you know someone that wants needs to be encouraged because i know that no matter how long it takes god will always come through god will always show up god will always you know you know you would always still answer right those children will come irrespective of how long you have waited and then very soon you're the one sharing your testimony you're the one giving hope joy you know to people you know that have been or are in that phase and you know one thing that god's word says is that when we go through these things it's so that we can bring comfort to others right and that's exactly what if he's going to be doing today bringing comfort with her story with her victory story right and i'm genuinely excited and i look forward to it all right so before i go deep into you know the whole let's let's bring it let's bring the tempo down a little bit a little bit while we wait for if it's join us right so let's just let's just about something that is not that deep that's not that deep because obviously tonight might be i hope will be deep deep stuff so let's let's bounce a little bit and talk about on deep things on deep things so um uh, christmas is coming right for those of you that need to take christmas pictures oh yes let me quickly do this now this is the time for you to reach out to joby photography if you don't know you know now that that's one of one a photographer that takes like the best pictures in the whole wide world like yes so you need to reach out to him and take your christmas pictures your family shoots and you're getting married anything like that's like your go-to person yeah I just did free adverts. I'll collect my payments later. <laughs> right, but I mean, how is Christmas going to be like for you people? I know that um, a lot of things are skyrocketing in terms of pricing. Hey, God. Hey, God. I mean, I went to the supermarket just last week and I saw the price of things and I'm like, what is really happening? As in, what's really going on? And sometimes I just feel like those people who maybe don't have anything that they're doing, they have families, they have children. I mean, how, how are they surviving? How, how are they coping? Because, I mean, even those that have money, they're still, the things are affecting them. So please, how is every other person coping in this world? Like, my heart really goes out and I really do pray that things will get better for us individually and for us as a nation i mean for those of us who are here in nigeria and this inflation thing i think is not even just nigeria it's everywhere because when, when i talk to my friends that are outside nigeria they're like it's not a nigerian stuff everybody's feeling a brunt of inflation and all that so i really do hope that you know things will get better in this country right and you know god will just come through for every one of us right so for those who are planning to jack back even as you are planning, plan it very well, you know, just don't go there empty, thinking that uh, they are plucking tree there, you know, have something, something, so that you can balance well, because the inflation idea is also there, but I mean, I understand why people have many reasons for wanting to jack my right, I just really hope that all our plans can come through in, our, in accordance to the will of God for our lives, very, very important, so that you not go somewhere and then you not hook. And God is not saying, did I send you there? Did I tell you to go there? Yeah, let's shatter that table and destroy it now. So let's just be guided. Even me too. As I'm talking, I'm talking to myself. So that whatever we're doing, let's just put God in it. Because either way, that's what's priority and that's what's most important. Right? Okay, so that's that for um, December. I was going to talk about something just now. Spirit of God. How did that keep me? Oh, shoot. There was something that I wanted to gist you guys about. So the reason why I'm saying all these many gist is because, I mean, I'm trying to wait for our guests. And I needed to come online. I did not want you to see that, uh-uh, where is, where is, um, how come I have not come online and all that. So let's just gist and relate and chat, you know. You people can hear me, Abby. I just want to know that you are hearing me because I've just been talking. Say hello, say hi. Say hey, Ife, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? And then, guys, next month, I mean, God God has been so good, you know. I think I should even say this, right? God has really helped effect talks because honestly, honestly, um, yes, you can thanks, Ibidajab. 
Thanks, Yeti. You know, God has been so good because Effect Talks, we've done this for, for thank you, Mayo, for over two years. And we've consistently come up every month, sometimes even two times or three times in a month. And how God has connected because you know i just look at that is that if i have plenty of followers is that see what are we really doing but the way god just you know connects some things or just to ensure that we have we come up every month to do a show and the, some of the testimonies the feedback i've heard from some of the things we're doing here is so encouraging it just makes me know that if you can't stop you have to keep going you have to keep going because it's just it's just the favor of God. Hi Dockers, welcome. It's just the favor of God, right? And what's the aim of Effect Talks? We're here to we invite people that um are maybe professionals or um they have strength in certain topics, right? To come and share with us that would bring hope, that would transform lives, that will help us to make more informed decisions. Like we've talked about a lot of things. Keep his kitchen is here, he's here, he's here. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so let's quickly pray. But yeah, if I talk, we talk about a lot of things, you know, that will just help people to, you know, live better lives, make more informed decisions. And God has been so good. For over two years, we have done this. People have come here to talk and people have been blessed, they have been helped, have been transformed by what we do here. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's so fulfilling. It's such a blessing. It's such a joy, right? So join me as we say a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for tonight's session. And we ask that as we start, you will start with us. People's lives will be blessed. We ask that you will speak to us through your daughter, Ify. We pray that there will be hope. There will be renewal of minds. There will be encouragement for those who are down. And tonight's session will be glorious. It will be powerful. It will be all of you and nothing of us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So I'm just going to quickly add her because she's here. Okay. Okay, so while we just wait for to see her pretty face, I hope that I mean okay. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> I, were, I am so excited. Oh my god, you I am so happy to be here. Thank you, thank you. I am so happy to be here. As in I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You are even in your kitchen. You are even in the kitchen. We can yes, see the background. Yeah. You know, we're always, always <laughs> um, producing content. So, you know, I hardly ever leave I my know. studio. But... <laughs> I can imagine. Thank you so much, Ma, for being here. I understand what it is. I mean, everything that you have to do to ensure that you come on here to speak to all of us, to encourage us and to be a blessing. So thank you. We don't take it for granted. Thank you for your time and all that. So hi, everyone. We don't have so much time tonight. We're just going to boom, 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 boom. And I trust that it will be amazing. You guys will be blessed. You guys, you guys will just, everyone that needs to receive encouragement and hope will do from tonight's session in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so let's get it down. Okay, Ma, so let's start with you. Just tell us about yourself. Introduce yourself to us. Let us know you. Let us meet you. Okay, so my name is Efe Mogeku, a lawyer turned food content creator. You can call me an entrepreneur now. I'm a YouTuber. I'm also a TV host. I've got um, a cooking channel on DSTV. I'm a social media influencer, a mom of two, and a wife. So that's me in a nutshell. In a nutshell. Yes. Whoosh! I love that. that I need to be saying I need to go and get something that if I talk about it, so I'll just say my mm, mm, mm. thank you so much for that. All right, so uh, we're talking about you today, or you're telling us about your story, your journey, and I'm so excited that you are going to do this with us because I know that a lot of people are currently in this space, right? Maybe some have even come out of this space, or some are even wondering what's going on, and they just need to hear that somebody has been here and has done this, and you know, they just need a bit of encouragement. So that's why we're doing this. So now, Let's tell us, how long have you been married for? How did you meet your husband? How did that start? Just a little bit. Okay, so I've been married for, I think, 11 years. It was 11 years in wow. October. I've been married for 11 years. Um, I met my husband online, actually. You know, that time, yeah. When Facebook was Facebook, you know, not now that it's not there. It's not for the fun you want. Right. Yeah, so I met him at the time. He messaged me and I was like, hey, who is this one? Anyway, like that, like that, like that. We um, we started chatting and then, um, yeah, let's just say we started talking from there. And after about, uh, after two years 
of dating where we got married. Yep. Like great, so, great. Right, so yes, 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 I did. <laughs> Thank you. I've seen some of my All friends right. here. Of course, I'm not that a lot of your family members are here. All of us. We are all your family members. All exactly. of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. So Ma, how long did you wait for before you had I mean before you got pregnant and had your children? Um <clears throat> I waited for, I think I gave birth in the ninth year. So should I say, yeah, so nine years, basically. Nine years. Amazing. Amazing. So now I'm just going to hit my attitude. So um, can you share with us, when, at what point did it start to dawn on you that it's looking like there's a delay? It's looking like something is happening. You know, at, at what point did it start to dawn on you after you got married? Okay, yeah. So um initially when we got married we said we we're going to give ourselves one year time off you know to get to know each other to spend right. time and all of that so um during that one year i mean we're doing everything we could not to get pregnant so right if i was even one time i had a scare i was like oh my god oh my god i think i'm pregnant i was so scared we're like oh no this was not the plan anyway so after one year we're like okay now so i mean let's start let's let's um try to have a bit i mean that try the word try did not even occur anything it was just like okay now it's time mm -hmm. let's have a baby and you right. know, after six months seven months i said i, I don't understand what's going on here you know mm -hmm. science was very science made it very simple spare meets egg boy meets girl the next thing pregnant. Yeah. i don't understand what's going on you know so after like mm -hmm. two hi jamila i'm just seeing all my people hello everybody <laughs> i can so imagine after like um i'd say about a year because i then started reading up and then people say after like six months or a year of actively trying and then there's no show then hey um there might be something you know so i think it was Thank in the, our third year of marriage i said look I, I don't know what's going on but i think mm -hmm. i should um see a doctor now but i wasn't even I, I wasn't that worried or scared i just said Let, let's just see a doctor let's just you know see what's okay. going on so it was after like the third year that i said i don't think everything is okay yeah. great great awesome so by the third year awesome and that brings me to my next question so what did the doctor say when you went to the hospital now i feel like a lot of doctors we said my time or maybe not waste because everyone kept saying there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. You're mm -hmm. okay. Just be patient. Be patient. Be patient. And that was it. You know, I'll go this mm -hmm. month. They'll say, oh my gosh, everything is looking good. Just um, we'll give you mm -hmm. some um, injections just to make sure this, 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 this. And I'll go home feeling happy. So it was month after month. After a while, I said, ah, these doctors, are they using me to make money because i don't get it mm -hmm. you know? it was also mm -hmm. oh my god everything is looking good this is the month mm -hmm. and i see my period at the end of that month like that like that it kept going Ooh, i forgot your question though. no as in i want to what the doctor said that's what you're answering <laughs> what, what did it say was wrong <laughs> okay yeah so you know everyone was saying no, no there's nothing you're good this month they kept giving me hope like that, like that. After yeah. like two years in the same hospital, I'll say, you know what? I don't think this doctor knows what he's talking about. Well, funnily, it was only mm -hmm. male doctors that I kept seeing. I think, you know what? I don't think um, this doctor knows what he's talking about. I'm going to meet another doctor because nobody was telling me anything. At least, what's the mm -hmm. problem? Let me know there's an exactly. issue and then we'll start sorting that issue out. But no. Yeah. Okay, you're good. It's next month. It's this month. It's next month. Mm -hmm. How I kept mm -hmm. many, many years. Wow. Wow. Amazing. So now, during this period, what was happening with you emotionally, your marriage, your relationship with your husband, and every other thing still come trying to show up with career? How, what was happening with you internally and emotionally? Okay. So, um, deep down, I... I wasn't, I think I was more worried because of societal expectation and people. Right. I 
think that yeah. was why I was more worried. But deep down, I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know when. I it was it was always so my prayer point at the time was God, I don't know, but please give me the patience to wait. Just give me that patience. I know it's going to happen, but just help me wait and not be stressed or not run from pillars. So I don't want to run crazy. So please just help me. So I was okay. I just I just knew it was going to happen, but when? So so but there's some times when I would break down because of frustration. You know, they tell you yeah. it's gonna happen this month, it's gonna happen next month, mm -hmm. and then it hasn't happened. So means I'm like, what what is wrong? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I had those um breakdown one once mm -hmm. in a while, but more often I was I was fine. I was good. Right, right. And then so now now let's bring it down to family. How was it like with family, in laws, maybe followers? Did you ever get Remarks because I know that in this world, let me not say Nigeria, right? In this one, and we've seen a lot of it on social media where people just, you know, try to make people feel somehow because they haven't had children yet. I mean, did you ever get those kind of things, maybe from family, from friends, or from even the online space? And how were you able to handle if that happened? Okay, so truthfully, I did not get any pressure from my husband's family. In fact, wow. other time I had to call him and say, look, I don't understand what's going on. How come no member of your family has said anything? And this was like after like five wow. years, six years. It, it was now an uncomfortable silence. Mm. You know, people would deal with snide remarks people would deal with my own issue was why this silence what's going on mm -hmm. yeah you know yeah. so the silence was was too loud <laughs> because i mean someone should even say someone should be a busy body and say hey what's yeah. going on i didn't get anything like that um, I'm not wow. so it was an uncomfortable silence i even had to ask him i, I don't understand why is nobody saying anything why is nobody yeah. What's up? And you go like, if you just just calm down and just don't worry about about it, about them. Just face your front, basically. Don't worry about mm. it. My people are good. Don't worry. So I said, um, no wahala. So the pressure was more from my parents, my mom. Oh my god. Ooh. The pressure was a lot. And then I kept saying, Mommy, we're good, we're good, we're good. And then she would say, Hey, 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 look, women, they are, they are, they are, she'll say it in evil. There are mornings, I mean, it will not be morning forever, but you know, yeah, guys, yeah. guys have no timeline or anything, but you know, you right. have to do something. You have to, and I'm like, Look, I'm, I'm going to the hospital, I'm doing everything I can. I don't understand what, um, you want me to do just mm -hmm. back off a little so but friends oh no friends were fantastic um okay there's a friend of mine here who is being an absolute idiot <laughs> sorry, excuse me. she's right here just sorry excuse me okay so my friends were fantastic um everybody um, was good you know they would um they will talk about it. Are you okay? You know? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, good. I'm good. And then sometimes when I break down or when I'm like, oh, no, this is this is getting too much, you know, I, I could call one of them and we'll talk about it. It, it, it. it was good. I didn't feel pressure from family or friends. Pressure. So society was good, too. Yeah. Awesome. And then I, I, I mean pressure from nobody was saying anything so it was just that I, it was the pressure was it was my pressure me putting pressure on me yeah. as well that, oh my yeah. god oh my god oh my god what are people saying oh my god what is this person saying mm -hmm. you know so i had a lot of pressure on myself mm -hmm. yeah i mean mm -hmm. it even got to an extent mm -hmm. where i couldn't celebrate my wedding anniversary because mm -hmm. i felt people are counting <laughs> the years for me mm -hmm. You know, yes. so yes. I mean, when my wedding anniversary, I will not. As years went by, maybe second, third, fourth year, 
But from like six, seven, I won't say anything about it because I wow. say, oh, it's my seventh year anniversary. How can I say that? Then the, the next thing you're talking mm -hmm. about is how far. So at the point, I think yeah. it's about my wedding anniversary. Right. Wow, wow, awesome. So now, what was the medical procedure like? What were the things that you had to do and all that? Did you, did you ever have to do IVF? Did you have any miscarriage? Was there any sort of oh, pregnancy and maybe you lost before your children came? Okay, so I had to do, there's a lot of procedure that I had to do. I don't know if anybody has gone, the most painful, oh my gosh. I pray nobody yeah. has to do that. The first time I did HSG. HSG. Oh my God. I thought I was going to pass out. That was my yeah. first time. You know, the truth is, I never heard anything about fertility or infertility. Look, it was not it was not my life. It was not, mm -hmm. it, I didn't know anything about it. It was just things I mm -hmm. heard about. It wasn't supposed to happen to me. Right. But I mean, who, who should it happen to? <laughs> Do you get what I mean? But mm -hmm. you know, I get you. so all of a sudden I started going for HSG, all of a sudden I started going for this test, that test, this, ha. <laughs> Um, wow. Wow. We're, we're giving you a big hug from here. All the many hugs. Big hugs, many hugs, many hugs. Okay, so where was I? We're talking of HSG. Yeah. So all of a sudden, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm over it. So what's the problem? We're leaving the experiences. Oh, we're leaving it. So it's okay. Okay. Okay, so all of a sudden, I had to start going through all these tests and so many things, and um, yeah, and then yeah, so after like um, six years, I think after like six years, I, I told the doctor I was seeing at the time, that look, everybody has been telling me <laughs> nothing is wrong, nothing, nothing, but something has to be wrong. Something has to be. I mean, so I even traveled to the US at the point to say doctor, because I'm like, ah, so if all Nigerian doctors are saying um, this thing, nothing, 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 then what's mm -hmm. the challenge, you know? So mm -hmm. after, after, after a couple of years, I think it was like a, a, the sixth year, I said, you, you know what? you guys have to refer me for IVF. I was even the one who asked for it because I don't, I don't understand like, anymore what's going on. So refer me for IVF. Let me stop giving me false hope. Stop giving me month mm -hmm. after month. I'm done. Let me now take, should I say, let me take my life in my own hands now or something. I don't know. But let me now do something about it. You know, mm -hmm. without waiting on what oh, is this month, is next month, is this month, is this month. And mm -hmm. so that is how I decided to go for it. So the doctor I spoke to, I put so much pressure that, you know, I refer me and let me do IVF now. Things, nothing is happening. And so they referred me 
to IVF Ida Wang's a very good and very popular um, IVF clinic here in Lagos, Nigeria. And um, yeah, so that's how that process started. Oh, <laughs> I'll never even forget this one. So I started um, the IVF and then they started um, giving me all the injections, the drugs, everything. It didn't work out the first month. I cannot even forget it was, it was in November. It didn't work out. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, fine, no problem. Then they said, they, they said, oh, at this was also time. Oh no, it was October 20. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the year. So, so they now told me, okay, after this procedure, since it didn't work out, you should see your period in a certain month in November. I said, okay, no wahala. Now, um, um, I didn't see my period when they told me I was going to see it. But I, did, I didn't go back to the hospital. I think I traveled out of the country. So I was like, okay, when I get back, I'll go and see the doctor, you know? So mm -hmm. several months, I think it was now in the second month when I came back, I then went back to the hospital. Like, hey guys, you told me I'll see my period last month. I haven't seen it. And so I'm here. What is happening? Because at this time, I was tired. I was frustrated. I was like, so what, what, what again? What now? you know and they said oh that nothing they did some tests and said oh oh it's going to rupture in the next few days and if it doesn't um if it doesn't come back to the hospital we'll give you an injection to help you so i said okay i went back to the hospital it didn't happen when they told me my parents didn't come i went back to the hospital they then gave me an injection that within the next 10 days you must see a period i said okay no january came february no period and i then went back to the hospital i haven't seen anything what's the problem the doctor now did it the doctor was not, by that i was even on my phone see i got into a stage where i i just couldn't be bothered anymore i was almost like what's the pro i always expected to hear negative 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 mm -hmm. it got to a period where i i can never forget that day i was on the on the table they were doing their test procedure i was on my phone maybe i was on instagram or something because i wanted to tune out i wanted to just uh, what's mm -hmm. happening the next day mm -hmm. the doctor just looked at me ah, mrs mongeku i said what mrs mongeku how did this happen? I said, what? You're pregnant. Mm -hmm. I said, that was the first time in my life ever, just like that. I said, no, 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 no. It's not possible. He said, well, look, 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 look. Wow. I got, down, I got down from that table in shock. I couldn't even call my husband. I couldn't tell anybody because I didn't believe it. Yeah. I didn't believe it. I went home. Uh, as I was going home, I bought um, this thing. What's it called? Pregnancy test. Because I used to have so many in the house. I've thrown everything away. Like, you know when you are giving up? That I'm never doing yeah. a population test in my life again. I am mm -hmm. never doing a pregnancy test in my life again. Like, I've thrown away all those kids. I was frustrated. Mm -hmm hired setup so on these days i was going home i had to stop at the pharmacy i actually bought a test kit i got home i used the test kit ah, ah, positive wow i was in shock i couldn't even tell anybody wow so i got home that evening i can't even forget and then i i told him donald i have something to see he said what 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 again what did they say hmm. And I just showed him <laughs> the stick and everything. Positive. Do you know that this guy started screaming, screaming, screaming? And then that one took me aback a little. Yeah. I said, I don't understand. <laughs> Why are you screaming? Because he's never given me the impression that he he, he was looking forward to wow. me getting pregnant ever. He had never put any form of pressure here. Mm. So he was screaming, screaming. Like, I said, wow. So, mm -hmm. you, you've been looking forward to this? Wow. That was the first time in my life I got <laughs> an idea that, oh, more this guy too was eager for wow. something to happen. Mm -hmm. 
So, you know, and then everything, I was being treated like an egg, everything was good. Oh, I forgot. Oh, sorry. Ah, this my story is long ago. Before I went back to the hospital to say, look, you guys gave me an injection. Yeah, nothing. I fell ill. I had, I had fever. I had malaria. This thing is bad. So by myself, I didn't go to the hospital. I bought malaria drugs. Wow. I took malaria drugs. Wow. Remember the injection that I had taken to induce my period to malaria drugs? You know, I, did, I took everything. This was before I went to the wow. hospital. And they said, right, wow. So a few weeks later, I went back. I was doing all those premarital, blah, 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 blah. A few weeks later, they said, oh, my God, you need to go for another test. Long story cut short, I had a miscarriage. I was, anyway. <laughs> It, it took it just it was like after all these disappointments um, there was now something to hold on to and then wow wow wow, wow. wow. So, how how did you handle that how did you handle that um I it was devastating, but I, I I blocked it. I tuned it. I I just tried. Uh, I I kind of told myself, well, what did you expect? After all these years, so it was almost like, uh, I don't know. It was devastating, but I mean, it, it, it came on my mind. I was saying, well, what did you expect? Why why were you? It was almost it was unreal. It was almost too good to be true. So. It came. Man. I remember I even took some time off work because um, it was it, it was a major loss. You know, after all these years, and all of a sudden it happened, yeah. and all of a sudden. So I asked what happened, and then the doctors were very frank. They said, "Well, it really didn't stand a chance because of all the things, you know, the injections, the drugs I'm taking, you know." But then again, they also said, I mean, it's not, it, it's something that could happen. Anyway, so that was um, how that went. And like, okay, I think this is it. I'm done. If it happens, it happens. If it never happens, I'm done. You know? Uh, so there was one time at, at my workplace, a partner called me and said, so if it was going on, how far? Um, I said, um, oh, nothing. I'm just there. Uh, she now said, no, take this as a project. You cannot stop until you see or you get what you're looking for. You cannot stop. You need to keep going. Wow. So I went for another IVF, another IVF, another IVF, until finally. So how many IVFs did you do? I did. It was the fourth one that was successful. Successful. So let's let's move to the success story now. How was that? No, but before I, before I ask, if I ask about the success story now, four failed IVFs. Sorry, three failed IVFs. Right. So from every failure, this is why I'm asking special because I know that here, oh, somebody that will watch this later has done five IVFs, has done six IVFs, and it has failed. Or has even done maybe one or two. How? Were those experts every time you got the report that it has failed and all that? How, what was, what was going through your mind? How did you deal with those things? Like, what, what did you really do? Just want to know. Um, at a point, I started um, priming myself up for disappointment. I, I preferred to think it would fail than to mm -hmm. think it would be positive. In that way, mm -hmm. I won't be too disappointed. So, I always, I, I, you know, a part of me want, wanted it to be positive, but I also needed to deal with the disappointment. I needed to help to, to, to I, I needed to help myself. Yeah, yeah. 
I know, I know they say always be positive, always be positive. But but I needed to, to help myself too because it's been disappointment for how many years? Yeah. So each time, you know, there's a wait period, two weeks um, after the IVF, you wait and you check and all of that. So of course, the very first one, I was very positive. Hey, I woke up, I woke my husband up. Today's the day I'm going to check. I went to check. <sighs> Negative. Okay. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. I did another one. I didn't check. The third one I was going to do, I didn't even bother waking him up. I just mm. snuck into the bathroom. <laughs> I checked. Negative. Negative. I just went back, got on my bed. And then he was like, what's up? I said, what did you expect? You know, it was my own way of trying to deal with the disappointment. You know? And then when it finally happened, I cannot even forget. Ah, oh, Timbo, you were awake that day. That's, that's the gist we want to hear. How was that one? The one that was successful. No, the one that was successful. Other ones, after the IVF, I'll go home. I'll not do anything. I'll sleep. I'll lie down. I'll not um, do nothing. I'll not even move. I will, eh, to climb a eh, staircase. No, no. Just go to my bed. Do nothing. I'll, I'll take two weeks off work, you know, just because mm -hmm. I don't want to do anything. So that one that was successful, mm -hmm. I said no. I'm not doing, I'm, I'm not, I'm not putting my mind. I'm mm. going to go out my day. I'm going to, so I, I even went to work. That, after the procedure, I went to work the next day. I didn't do any, I didn't treat myself different. I, mm. I said, no, 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 no. The past three that I've been doing, hey, hey, take it easy. Mm. And do this, what happened? I said, you know what, this one, I'm going to go about my life. Like okay. nothing happened. So after I went to work, I did I, I did everything. I I, I went my, my normal life. Nothing stopped. Nothing paused. Nothing. Mm -hmm. So on the day I was going to check, two weeks later, as usual, I snuck into the bathroom, and then I checked, mm -hmm. and it was positive. I just sat down there. Whoosh. Whoosh. I couldn't I, I couldn't say a word. I couldn't say anything. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. I, I couldn't say anything. My friend called me the alpha, alpha. I don't know if I sent her a picture of, of it, but I just couldn't say anything. Then mm -hmm. my husband, she was even awake. She was waiting. Yeah, I can't even forget. She was waiting mm -hmm. for alpha. Yeah. So I didn't, you know, I thought my husband was sleeping. And then while I was in the bathroom for so long, because I couldn't come out, I was in shock. Mm -hmm. From shock. the room, he then asked me if we how far. I said, is this guy not sleeping? He can't sleep. He knew the minute I got up from the bed. He knew when I snuck into wow. the bathroom. He knew everything. He just, he just kept quiet, you know? So when I didn't come out for so long, but then he now came, how far, you know? And then I then showed him. Of course, he was so happy. But I said, Shh. I said, no, 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 don't. Mm -hmm. Happy, don't, 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 don't. He said, No, it's positive. I said, Shh, Please, I'm begging you, just chill out. Don't say anything. Don't, don't just express any joy. Please, 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 don't, don't. I couldn't express joy. I couldn't do it. I said, No, don't, just, just please. So I answered, Let's go to the hospital. I want to do a test in the hospital. We got to the hospital, and the doctor said, How are you feeling? Um, have you done, did you do a home test? I said, no, I didn't do. He said, so you, you don't know? I said, no, I'm not feeling funny. I'm not, I didn't do a home test. I didn't do nothing. And you now do your mm -hmm. own test and everything, you know? Because mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. So they did their own test. Then he came and he said, oh, this is not good. I was like, hmm? What did I do next? Said, Positive! That was the only time I did rejoice and I was happy. It was only at that time that I was like, wow. 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 Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, so that's My God, how did, I mean, were you afraid based on the last one? I mean, 
I mean, during the nine months journey, was there a time where you were scared that, hey, God, I hope I don't lose this one, you know, blah, blah, blah. Any mindset, <laughs> like, yeah, the enemy trying to deceive you and thinking? Actually, no. You know, uh, I'd always I mean, known that it will happen but i just didn't know when or anything so i just felt like and then the doctors were so good were so professional they gave me a lot more treatment maybe based on past history so i, yeah. I got a lot more attention and stuff so i was just so positive once i was sure of the results i was just so positive about this is it although when i went to the hospital they said oh my gosh only one twin is thriving that the other one is just gonna won't make it and stuff mm -hmm. I wasn't even unhappy i said ah <laughs> one is <laughs> one is there mm -hmm. i wasn't unhappy mm -hmm. at all i don't know whether i was bad or good i don't know but i was like oh, mm -hmm. if i can even have one mm -hmm. that's fine so after like 12 weeks or so because because it was an ivf i had to go to the hospital a lot earlier um for for tests you know i had to and then I went to another hospital for a test just to check how's it going. And then Uma was like, wow, congratulations, you have twins. I said, I don't understand. Um, so you have twins. Um, I was shocked yeah. because I was already told one would not make one. it. And I said, wow, how's the other one doing? I said, oh, both of them are developing the same. Everything is going well, everything. And then from there, was it was good all the way wow yeah wow. amazing amazing so now that you have gone through this journey what do you now in retrospect right what do you have to say about the waiting period that people go through i mean you waited for nine years nine years what do you have to say about it now that you're, if you're talking to anybody which was like, what you say about the waiting period? Well, um, because I was always so sure it would happen, I, I told um, myself, this waiting period, don't let it go to waste. Do everything you can do. Do all you can. That's when I started if it's kitchen. That's when I, you know, even... Yeah, yeah, that was when I started if it's kitchen. That's when I was doing everything. I had a nine to five, I was in if it's kitchen, I was just posting doing recipes. So I don't know if that was my way of coping to just try to remove okay. my mind because I was always super, super engaged, you know. I, mm -hmm. I, I didn't really have time for self pity or to what yeah, do I the days were there of course when I'll feel very, very low. But apart from that, I would wake up and um, do other things. And then my partners in my law firm were very, very super supportive. Every morning they would come pray with me. You know, so I, I just, I just knew it was, it was going to happen. Why would my own be different? What, 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 what? Mm -hmm. uh, why? You know, <laughs> why? So I just knew. I mean, it was going to happen. But when I didn't know. So yeah. So in a way, I could say it was a coping mechanism. I just put myself into work. Like, I didn't have any spare time. I was working, 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 working. Like that. So um, so that waiting period, I, I did not waste it. I did not feel sorry for myself to the extent that I couldn't do anything. I utilized it because I always knew at the back of my mind it would happen. So I didn't want to regret it when it happened that I wasted all this time. So I made sure I was super, super busy. Yeah. I mean, so if you have a word of encouragement to share to someone now in this phase, what would you say? It's a very difficult period. And the part that is most killing is you don't know when, when it will happen. That waiting period... yeah you don't know that's the path you keep waiting you're waiting mm -hmm. for nine years oh. oh so that's the path you don't know you know it will happen but you don't know how long it is um it's outside your control 
it's completely outside your control. You can't do anything about it. You can't. You can't do anything about it. Than pray and wait and do all the things that you should do. So anyone um, who is going through it now, I mean, waiting, waiting is hard. It's super hard. It's the hardest part of it. But just keep the faith up. Just know it will happen. Like I knew at the back of my mind it will happen. But the, the difficult part was just that we could hear it. Every time I go out and I see a pregnant woman, you know, I wasn't pained. I wasn't, I would go home and sob and be bitter. I'll just say, one day that will be me. So I always kept the positive outlook. I said, I will say, God, I don't know when, but one day that will be me. So wow. that, 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 that was just my outlook every time. Yeah. So whenever I felt bad, luckily there was a church near my office. So whenever I started feeling bad or uh, somehow I would go to the church, I would even sit down there during um, office hours. So I would go somewhere and I will cry because I need to let off steam. Hello, not Ella. I can see you. <laughs> and somebody asked, was I advised to lose some weight? No. Yeah. I don't I, I was no, no I, I I I was I was I was okay. I even I think I was very lucky. Even with all the IVF, all the pumping, the drugs. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. I did. Uh, you wouldn't even know. You would not know. So I, I think I was I was lucky in that aspect because of people once they start IVF, you would know. So I didn't have any weight. Well, they check in. I didn't have any weight issues at all. I was never advised to lose weight. I was never advised to add. I was never advised to change my diet. I was never advised to do anything. Remember that everybody mm -hmm. kept saying, okay, it's this month, it's next month, it's this, it's that, it's that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How, how was your faith life? How was your relationship with God? Was there any time you felt like, man, this Christian is not working. God is not showing me. I'm done. Um. Well, at a point, I just stopped praying about it, actually. I just stopped. I, 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 it was not like, um, there are times when I would fast, I would pray, but after a few years, I said, nah. Uh, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. If it happens, wow. it happens, but it's not going to, I'm not going to be carrying it on my head. I'm not going to, no. Then when those times, then there are some times it will hit me. I'll go, I'll pray, I'll cry. Why? Why is my own different? And I'll get better. I'll move on. But I, I, it was at a point, I said, God, you know what? I'm, I'm done. I'm not praying. I'm not doing anything. I'm not. If, it, if you want it to happen, it'll happen. If you don't want it to happen, no, no, Ahala. I will still praise you. I'm never going to say anything against you or anything. That means that's what you want from me. Fine. But well, I'm done. I'm not praying. I'm not saying anything. I'm done. Well, somebody's asking that, is it painful and how much does IVF cost? That was the IVF procedure painful. And then somebody asked me a question, how much does it cost? Um, honestly, I can't even remember again how much but I can I can tell you at the time it was um it was it was it was pretty expensive. I, I, I don't know. I think it's based on clinics. Based on the clinic. So like I said, I used a very high end popular clinic in Lagos. So of course you ran into millions all the time. It wasn't it wasn't, it wasn't a big procedure, right? Well, right into millions it wasn't um i was paying am i going to use all my savings for for this you know yeah um yeah so the person who said is it painful yeah 
in yeah. a way, you know, there are lots and lots of injections, ah, ah, lots of tests, yeah. lots of injections. So, ah, Lola, is it beautiful? I don't know. Um, I don't know. There are different steps. There are different mm -hmm. levels to it. Then, then there are some injections that you have to put on your thighs that go straight into mm -hmm. your bone. Wow. The needle is that huge. Oh. I don't know if there are different levels. So I cannot say, ah, oh, it's very painful. There are different levels to it. So there are times wow. when it's not pain, there are times when it's okay. So I can't say the whole process. But I think it's more tasking on your emotions. Remember, you're taking a lot of hormonal drugs. So your emotions are everywhere. You think it's not affecting you, but it is somehow. Yeah, so there are levels to it. Then you inject yourself on, my arm, on your stomach every day. I won't really say it's painful, but there are just different levels that come to the whole day. But it's not the whole procedure that is pain all to you. Well, I mean, I know that I know that you have to run now. I know. So let me just let's just ask one final question. Now that you are a mom. How does it feel? How did it feel seeing your children comparing the pain of the past and the joy of now? Like, what does it feel like? This new, obviously, it's not new because I know your children are now, but I think like two now. So, yeah. I mean, what the, yes. Oh, my junior, when I see there, I, eh, come here, come, come, come. come. <laughs> it feels new. I mean, it feels. It feels new. It is exciting. Um, it's just, it's just all worth it at the end of the day. It, it is, it is, it is it's just all worth it. It's, you know, you're happy, and you kind of like tend to forget. Like it's all worth it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I don't think I don't, I don't. There's no time I'll, I've said, oh, God, I wish it came earlier. No, I've just kind of, like, moved on in another phase. I've moved on. I mean, thank you, Jesus. It's happened. It didn't happen when I wanted, but it's happened. And um, let's, let's, let's move on. Yeah. Thank God. Thank God. Well, I'm so excited. I mean, I wish we could keep you here for longer, but thank you. Thank you. This has been such a very interesting session. And I know that one, two, three, many people have been blessed. I've, I've yeah, received sorry, it, somebody it. said something. CC Kenny, yes. Right. It's invasive. It's invasive. Very, 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 oh my gosh. It is oh so God. invasive. Lord. Oh my Lord. So it may, it may, it's not, like I said, it's not so painful. They're just different levels. But it's so invasive. Like, oh gosh. Wow. Yeah. wow. Wow. Amazing. Did you ever, can I just ask, I mean, did you ever feel, how did you feel when, I mean, people with their children, doing those nine years, you're seeing your friends with their children, maybe family members. How was that, how was that like for you? Like I said, for me, I, 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 I didn't, I, will, I, I thank God, maybe, I don't know, when I was the prayer, I prayed, like, in my third year, mm. and like, give me the patience, I don't know, but I never right. felt bitter, or anger, or Amazing. hurt, Amazing. Amazing. Wow. I was okay, so I was happy, I, my colleagues, kids, when they come to the office, I was good, I don't know if people probably felt, oh, let's not take my our kids near her because I have a friend, a friend, a friend hmm, who would not be telling me just about her kids because she felt yeah. she, she felt um, uh, mm. uh -huh, <laughs> so so uh, she would not tell me things, she'll try to so that I'll not feel yeah. so I was like, okay, down. if I'm not okay, I'll let you know somehow. I'm good. I'm good. So feel free. 
Well, I, I never felt any now. I never felt bad. I never. The only times I used to feel bad was um, maybe when I go to my in-laws, yeah, and I see um, people who got married after me. I see their kids, yeah. and and like I said, the silence. And wasn't from a negative place. The silence. So yeah, it made it, it, it may always made me feel. What are they saying? What are they thinking? To my mind what, what exactly is going through their mind what are they saying what are they saying so those are the only times i used to feel bad when i got to my in laws mm -hmm. and it was not from anything they said it was just me imagining what what are they thinking wow amazing well okay i have to let you go now but can you do us one last favor i don't know i hope it's okay just in one minute can you just say what a prayer to Anybody here who's trusting God for the good of people, like just pray for them and just encourage them. You know, just say something. For everybody going through this and everyone, everyone who can hear me and all of this, uh, please, please do not give up. God is on that throne. You're in His waiting room right now. He can see you. He can hear you, and it will happen for you because. Mm -hmm. it will Apple. You will have your own children. There's nothing. God does not love you any less. You are not a stepchild. You are not any. You are His own child, and it will happen. So just keep the faith. I understand how you feel. Sometimes you don't want to. You don't want to pray. You know, it's okay. I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying something wrong. I don't know. I'm. Not, I'm not a pastor or anything. But I think those period. It, you're only human. But well, when you feel that way, just remember, say a word of prayer that God, I'm, I'm giving all this, all my pain, everything to you. And please, in the name of Jesus, all this pain will pass and you'll have your own children. Mm -hmm. So I've been waiting for 10 years. I mean, you'll have your own kids by this time next year, by the very special grace of God. Mm -hmm. You'll have your own children. Mm -hmm. For many of you that are waiting right there, you'll have them, you'll have boys, you'll have girls. You will be the one to even say no. I don't want a game, a special mm -hmm. piece of, and your children will be whole and they'll be perfect, they'll be beautiful. You'll carry them to perfection, like your pregnancy. You will have no issues, no pain. You will be strong. I was very I was hale and hearty all through. You know, you you'll be strong. You'll be perfect, and and all the years, all the years of waiting will just fade. You know, it'll be. A, the testimony to you you'll be happy your children your friends your family your husband everybody around you will be happy and overjoyed and it will it will happen for you sorry it'll happen for you and it'll happen to you in the mighty name of jesus thank you so much thank you Thank you so much. I really pray that God continue to bless you, bless your family, bless your children, bless Ipi's kitchen, the work of your hands, everything you lay your hands upon, continue to prosper in your home, in your life, only be from glory to glory, from good news to good news, from testimonies to testimonies in the name of Jesus. This thing that you have sown, this good thing, I pray that, you know, by next year, people will reach out to you to give testimonies of this this what seemingly looks like a very short interview and there'll be miracles that will be birthed from this in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for your time. I know that you have so many back and forth, but thank you for honoring the invitation. I pray that God will honor you. God continue to bless you. And, you know, your fame will forever be noise in nations of the earth. Thank you. I learned how to cook up cross soup from you. So thank you. And the many, many things that we are learning on your page, God bless you. We are so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank all right, let you. me allow you go now. Thank so you very much. Out there, I'm wishing you all the very best. Baby does to you. And one thing that one partner said to me, and it never left my head, my memory, it always carried me through, was do not stop. Treat this like a project. Do not stop. Do not give up. Do not. You must keep going. Please seek medical attention. I know you're praying, but seek medical attention. Do what the doctor says and it will happen. Please do not stop. Do not stop. It's okay to take time to rest your body. It's okay, but do not stop until you get what you want. You cannot 
stop. You cannot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you, Ma. Yeah. Let right. me allow you go. Thank you. And thank you to everyone who came out tonight. I mean, I'm sure we're happy for your time. Bye. We celebrate you, Ma. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. This was such an amazing time. I know that you were blessed. I know that it was transformational for you. Thank you. So this is Ife Talks, right? What we do here every month is that we invite people. We talk about different topics every month. Different things. Children, finance, lifestyle, um, money, career, entrepreneurship, business, abuse. We talk about everything. We bring people here to come and talk about their own journey, their own story, their way to encourage people transform lives up and make more informed decisions right so next month we're going to talk about something interesting again if you're not following the better please follow it better please follow this is what we do every month by the help of god and then of course i also compare events so you have an event that's coming up i hold shows i compare events and then i do my talk to here on a monthly basis and i love what i do and i'm excited that this session tonight, I mean, I, I, I knew it. I knew that it would not just be our normal chat. I just felt that would something different, that people would be blessed, people would be encouraged, and people would be helped to what we do here tonight. And I'm so glad that you're here. If there's someone that you know that needs to hear this, right, please send to them. If you said on my page, if you said on my YouTube page, that's the TED Talks, also on YouTube. So thank you all for joining. And I will see you again next month. We're going to talk about another very important topic, very important session. So if you're not following, you better just Follow now, follow us, and then another amazing guest to be here next month. We'll talk about something so good, but we keep trying to share different things on the page just to encourage you all. So please, for those who are just joining, welcome. But if it's done, so you can just go back. I will save this. Go back and you know watch, watch the uh, replay. It was an amazing session, and you don't need to hear it. You know, send to someone that you know will be blessed by this. I will see you all again next month. By God's grace. Merry Christmas in advance. Merry Christmas in advance. I'll see you all in December. Or keep seeing here on Instagram and on YouTube with Fed Talks. All right. So don't forget to invite me to post and compare your events. I cannot wait to do that for you and with you. Till I come your way again next month. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye.